Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Eddie. So for today's video, it's the latest travel updates to the Philippines for foreign nationals for March 2024. Details coming with. <music> So it's the new month again. Let's get an update on each category. For this video, we are updating the foreign nationals category, entering as a tourist coming from the visa-free country as well as foreign nationals coming from the visa-required country. 13A is also included in this category as well as SRRV. So first on the list is your passport. So passport validity is very important. We just recently uploaded the six months rule on foreign passports. Make sure that your passports are valid at least six months when you travel to the Philippines because you may not be able to board the aircraft if you have less than six months validity in your passport. So make sure to check before even booking that ticket going to the Philippines. Just to be on the safe side, six months or better on your passport validity. For tickets, entering as a tourist, it's important that you guys have an onward ticket, especially if you are staying in the Philippines for more than 30 days. We also have uploaded a video on this explaining why onward ticket is necessary. I have also explained on that video when to get an onward ticket and when not to get an onward ticket. So it's very important that you guys know this rule entering as a tourist. For the visa, entering in the philippines as a tourist coming from the visa free country you guys don't need to apply for a visa beforehand your visa will be given upon entry into the philippines this is a 30 days visa for free there are four nationals that are required to have a visa before they are granted entry into the philippines these are nationals coming from the visa required countries so make sure to apply for a visa at the nearest philippine consulate or embassy in your area before you can enter into the philippines make sure your visa is valid and make sure the visa is on hand before traveling to the philippines so i know there are two types of this for tourists these are nationals coming from the visa-free countries. We have also uploaded the video of this. If you guys are interested in which countries are visa-free to the Philippines as well as countries who are visa-required to the Philippines. E-travel, yes, e-travel is still required. We have uploaded also the most recent update for e-travel. It has the newest version because this time you have to create an account for e-travel. The creation of your account can be done anytime. Even though you're traveling next month or the next few months, it's okay. For as long as your e-travel registration is done within 72 hours prior to your departure. So please feel free to check out our tutorial if you guys are new to this channel and just knowing about the newest version of e-travel. Check out the channel because we already have uploaded the tutorial for e-travel. We also uploaded a tutorial on how to add a family member on e-travel under one account. For foreign passport holders, when it comes to e-travel, when you are traveling to the Philippines, you are required to register with e-travel. All inbound travelers to the Philippines. Now, if you are departing the Philippines as a foreign passport holder, you are not required to register with e-travel anymore. I get this inquiry a lot and hopefully with this update, you guys will know when you guys are required to register with e-travel and when you guys are not required to register with e-travel. I get this inquiry from time to time when it comes to vaccination or COVID-19 test. This has been long lifted by the Philippine government. So if you are vaccinated or unvaccinated, you can travel freely to the Philippines. You are not required to do RT-PCR test or antigen anymore. Like I said, COVID-19 restrictions to the Philippines has been long lifted, so this is not required anymore. They don't even ask for any vaccination card or vaccination certificates anymore. Travel insurance. Travel insurance to the Philippines is optional. 
So it's really up to you if you want to purchase additional travel insurance when you purchase your ticket. That's completely up to you. Just make sure that you can use this travel insurance to the Philippines in cases of emergency because there are travel insurance that you cannot use overseas. So check around and buy the travel insurance that you can use. The baggage declaration form and the currency declaration form. We also have uploaded several videos of this. But for baggage declaration, only fill this out when you have something to declare. If you need guidance on what to declare and what not to declare, please feel free to check out the channel for the videos for it. It is important to know that you don't need to fill out the baggage declaration and currency declaration if you have nothing to declare. This comes out after you guys have generated the QR code of e-travel. You have to download this, you have to print them out, and you have to fill it out manually. So as I've said, if you have nothing to declare, you don't need to declare. For currency declaration, if you are not bringing more than 10,000 US dollars, you don't need to declare. The declaration is not really bad. It's not like they are going to confiscate or they are going to seize the items that you guys have declared. It's there for a purpose. It's there for a reason. So declare the necessary items that you are bringing in into the Philippines. And please take note of those prohibited items that are not allowed to enter the Philippines. For 13A visa holders, you guys are exempted on the onward ticket or the return ticket. You guys can enter the Philippines on a one-way ticket. Just make sure that you guys have the necessary documents when entering the Philippines. Especially, for example, you are on the probationary period of your 13a visa application make sure you have the visa implementation on your passport you have your acr i card and the necessary entry permit or special entry certificate when entering the philippines for srrv holders your pra id is necessary when entering the philippines you guys are also exempted on the return ticket or onward ticket you can travel to the philippines on a one-way ticket So this is our latest travel updates to the Philippines for the month of March 2024 for foreign nationals going to the Philippines. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page, same handle, The Eaton Squad. Again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next troll update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.